Two years ago, we made a trip to Baja with uh, Epic Family Road Trip. Um, there were several Jeeps. So Brad was there with Trail Recon and American Overland. Uh, Overlanda was there. And now, uh, it's been two years. And now we're making a trip with them to Anza Borrego. It sure is gonna be fun. Our rendezvous point is Ramona, California. Ramona, it's a small, beautiful rural town on the east side of San Diego, where we top off our fuel tanks, we have last minute supply purchases, and after a driver's meeting, we hit the highway. Highway 78, it starts in Oceanside and ends in Blythe, California. It runs nearly the entire width of the state. For me, the best part of this highway it's from Ramona to Borrego Springs, as it goes from higher elevation to the sea level desert of Anza Borrego, passing through the beautiful mountain town of Julian, home of the famous Julian apple pie. So we just came down uh, from Julian and we are on our way to Anza Borrego, where we're gonna spend the night, a couple nights, and we're just gonna go and explore Sandstone Canyon and the, the popular spots, which are beautiful. I'm gonna go down, uh, come down uh, Diablo drop off, and then go to Fish Creek and, and see where uh, we can find a, a place to camp. If you don't follow uh, Epic Family Road Trip on YouTube and Instagram, on social media, go ahead and do it. It's uh, they're a family of five: uh, mom, dad, two sons, and a daughter. And their, their adventures are awesome. They've been all over the world in a Jeep. Now they have two Jeeps and two dirt bikes. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Their adventures are pretty epic, like the name, Epic Family Road Trip. So yes, go ahead and, and check them out. Once we arrived to the desert, we made a right turn on S2 Highway, which is part of the Great Southern Overland Stage Route. And it goes all the way to the famous Yuha Valley. Right now the temperature in the desert is 56 degrees, which is awesome. Um, this is the best time of the year to visit the desert during the winter, because uh, you can camp. It'll be cold tonight, a little chilly tonight, but it's really comfortable during the daytime. It'll go up to 66 degrees, and um, you know you can explore and, and, and do some hiking. So we are here at the beautiful Anza Borrego, right at the um, uh, Cañón Sin Nombre entrance. We are airing down right now and we're preparing for an awesome weekend. We got Peter here, airing down, getting ready for an adventure. What's that? Getting ready for an adventure? Yeah, get ready to get in the desert. You've never been here before, right? Not this, not the Anza Borrego area. Um, we were at, we got to Akatia Wells, so that's about as far as we got, but oh, we're you, excited to, to uh, follow you guys through the desert. You're going to love this place. It I'm looks beautiful so far. Super excited to have you here, man. We're glad to be here, Marco. Last time we were together was Baja. Two years ago. Three? Two years, Two ago. years ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Right. My birthday. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? You've been here before. A long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> but you're driving the JK today. Yeah, driving the JK. 
JK today. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's exciting, man. Yeah. going to watch the, you know, like a big group of people, so I'm excited. That's awesome. It's been a while, buddy. I'm so excited. Man. This is such a group, good group. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a great weekend, buddy. There's a lot of great people out here. Absolutely. I can't wait to hit the trails, man. After airing down, we got in our jeeps and began our journey into the Cañón Sin Nombre. Driving down a sandy road into the canyon, about a mile ahead the road starts to get narrow and the walls of sandstone taller. We drive our jeeps into the badlands on our way to the mud caves. The ever-changing landscape of the desert makes this place interesting every time we visit the area. Definitely never gets old. This is probably one of my favorite areas in Anza Borrego. This is the trail called Cañón Sin Nombre. And this will take you to the mud caves and a couple of really, really nice uh, camping spots here. Again, this is probably one of my favorite ones. And the weather today is beautiful. This is, this is one of my favorite trails probably. There's so much to see here. It's a it's beautiful, beautiful landscape and uh, a couple of good uh, camping spots here. Cañón Sin Nombre Trail takes us to the Vallecito Creek Road. It's another sandy watch that opens up to Arroyo Seco del Diablo. To get to the mud caves, we made a left turn towards Arroyo Tapiado. That took us to the famous mud caves. The total mileage is about 7 to 8, starting at the S2 highway. Keep in mind that this terrain, it usually hides a few sharp rocks in that sand. Be careful not to get a flat tire. I also recommend that you turn on your lights. It can get dusty and it's not unusual to see other vehicles on this trail. I have been through this canyon several times and it's always, always exciting to come back. It's just a beautiful area and there's so much to do here. Um, visiting the um, these caves, which is not too safe to uh, go in there, in, in the caves. There's not recommended actually, especially after a rain. Um, but I, we, we've done it, you know, we try to be careful and it's really, really exciting. It's, it's, it's interesting. So we're gonna, we're gonna stop here for lunch. And we're right next to the entrance of uh, one of the main caves here. So we're going to have lunch first and then we're going to go explore the cave. And uh, I'll bring you along. I'll bring my camera in and I'll show you, I'll show you the cave inside. Good old turkey and cheese torta. Turkey and cheese torta. Ah. <laughs> Are you, uh, you got a GoPro up there? You should go get that from me. Where's Gina? Oh, there she is. They're coming. He doesn't know. He's a little unsure. Come this way. Good morning. Should we all do the same thing? All right. go right through or is it dead end? So we hiked this one for a good and then eventually this opens up. And then there's like a trail that just keeps going we're like, oh, it's gonna take us some cool ledge or something. And we were just hiking and hiking and hiking like this is so we just ended up turning around. Could you imagine the sound if you're in here and one of those big boulders comes down? Uh -huh. That's gonna be a little nerve wracking. Chimney. 
Making an adventure video requires a lot of stopping and going, but it's so much fun, especially watching the end results in the video. We have arrived to the trail that takes us to Diablo drop-off. After the mud caves, we got on Arroyo Seco del Diablo and then turned on the Diablo drop-off trail. So we are at the Diablo drop-off and we are going to come down this, this hill to go to our first camping spot. And this is Diablo. Diablo drop-off sounds a little bit scary. At least it was for me the first time I drove down this sandy hill. The fun part is that this hill keeps on changing. Sometimes it's fully graded and easy to do. Other times it has been eroded by rain and it can be a real challenge to travel down the hill. I have seen it in conditions that makes it impassable. This time, easy peasy. After Diablo drop off, the trail takes us to a second drop, which is called Broken Shaft, an easy but steep descent that leads to a narrow slot canyon with ledges, ruts, and rocks. Not a very challenging trail, but very fun. This trail turns into Fish Creek Wash, where we are going to turn on our way to Sandstone Canyon, where we will spend the night. Go, Lando. We are now on Fish Creek Wash. Lando the Adventure Dog, Epic's beautiful German short hair pointer, run the whole trail next to the convoy. Pretty cool to watch. And we just got to Sandstone Canyon. It's another favorite here in Anza Borrego. Um, definitely it's a place that you want to go visit but take care of it please don't trash it um, yeah this place is beautiful it's um, it's very unique because you go through these sandstone walls um, with your Jeep between the this huge walls and it's very interesting you're gonna like it it used to be open all the way there's a really nice uh, waterfall after the after the gatekeeper, but they close it. We cannot go in there anymore, but it's beautiful the way there. You can hike it though. And, uh, but whatever is open at uh, Sandstone, it's just, it's just amazing. It's a lot of people who come to visit like this guy's over here. It's incredible that this was formed over the years by wind, mud rain it's just it's just an incredible place it's really beautiful it's got all the rock formations and it's a it's a really nice trail absolutely We made it to our first camping spot. We will spend the night in this beautiful canyon and tomorrow we will continue our Anza Borrego exploration. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to follow along on the rest of this adventure where I will share with you amazing trails, food and epic times with friends and family.